Hey my friends, welcome and welcome to my home. Um, yeah, but I'm shooting this in the car because that is when I have time to do my intro for this video. So I hope that you will roll with me on this. Today's video is going to be a refresh or a restart home tour because give or take, it's been about 14 months I think since I've been on YouTube and a couple of you had mentioned you'd love to see my home now and what it looks like, what may have changed. And I thought that was a great idea because there is a lot that has changed. Um, my attitude about it has changed. Um, I have really downsized and gotten rid of a lot of things and um, I feel really good about that. And so my style is kind of a country vintage crafty style. A lot of it is things that I like to collect and I've gotten very specific about that because things can pile up on you and um, I just did not want to do that anymore. It makes it a lot easier to clean as well with the simplicity. Now I am going to say that you um, are going to get the real deal home tour today because I said that in my video back um, that I'm just going to have to make YouTube work for me instead of feeling like I have to do something special for YouTube. Like I, I may not fit the YouTube mold, but I'm going to give you the real deal and um, show, me, show you my home. Um, I have not done anything special or extra. I want you to know that my home's not perfect, your home doesn't have to be perfect, and nobody's home is perfect no matter what it looks like on YouTube, and that is okay because it doesn't have to be. It's simply your home, and I just want my home to be cozy and loving and warm and inviting and filled with things that I do like. <laughs> I have certain things that I like to collect. I'll share that with you as we go along with the home reboot, retour, refresh. Um, you'll get to see my kitchen today, my dining room, living room, laundry room, and bedroom. It's not completely done, but I'm going to go ahead and share that with you today. So I hope that you enjoy this real home tour on YouTube. This right here is our dining room complete with our little gray cat Tia. Yeah. <laughs> this is our big farmhouse table. I love this. I got this from the Amish country. The centerpiece that I have on here is one that I can leave up all year round, which is what I wanted. These candles are on a timer and they actually look super pretty. And then I have them down there in sand so that they will stand up really nice for me. And this is so heavy that I don't have to worry about the pets. So that is an excellent centerpiece and I've been really happy with that. Over here is my big farmhouse hutch that matches our table. I love to collect tins and I actually keep them up there on the top. And I love to collect Pyrex, so you'll see that kind of in here. I do only buy the Pyrex if I find it on a really good deal or if it is a piece that I really, really want. And then up here I just have candles that are on a timer. Those are a fun thing to change out for the holidays, so that's something that you will see going forward. Just this little guy right here. And then over here in my corner, of course, I've had the plate wall forever. I think you'll remember that. But over here in the corner, we have a cute little coffee bar nook. And I apologize if the lighting is not the greatest. It's just a cozy Saturday morning here. And I wanted to go ahead and film this for you. This sign here I actually made. And it says Bumble Brews because our rooster or one of our roosters outside is called Bumble. And this is just very simple. We have our coffee, our cream, my husband's coffee maker, and then it's on this little green stand. And then we have our little trash can where we can kind of push it back down there underneath on the bottom. So it's just kind of squeezed in that little corner right there. Super cozy and using all of the available space that we have. And then I'll swing you across here to the other side. One of my favorite things to change out for the holidays is this chalkboard. Now that's actually chalkboard paint framed out in wood. I have such a fun time changing that out uh, for the holidays. And then coming on down over here, this is our front door. We rarely come in that door. So all we really have right there is I hang my purses there. 
and then we have this beautiful old church pew with some fun pillows and when company comes over they actually like to really sit here they find it super comfortable but first of all let's go ahead and take a look right here this is my beautiful cabinet i thrifted this many pieces here are going to be thrifted and found at antique stores but i love to collect iron stone so that's what you will see a lot of in here and i love plants but my cats also love plants now this is a violet it's doing pretty well so i'm happy with that i kind of move it back and forth into the sun when i can babysit it basically but i also love the dundee jars i've been lucky enough to find a couple of those i like collecting these glass trees uh one sylvestri and one is like a murano style and then the other thing that i have started to collect i want to open this up real quick and show you are these little chicken open salt cellars aren't those things cute i found three i have a blue one an amber one and that one over there on the left is kind of a purple but i've been throwing them in this ironstone dish and i uh, just love them there's one of our other kitties we have four kitties don't we catch that's my little my little binks i love hocus pocus but his name is actually catch it's my son's kitty right buddy yeah i know <laughs> so yeah i love this cabinet here and then let's go ahead and come back around the living room is definitely there's a lot less there than there used to be because we have to have room for this guy so what we have done is really utilize our wall space for our decor i'll tell you about that wall over there and then i have a super pretty gallery wall here and then of course this side is just nothing but windows which i like i have some shears up for a little bit of privacy but also to let the light in and then i have this old tray here and it's really hard to find pieces to fit into there but i'm still working on that it's something fun to always be hunting and looking for i do have a little rooster in there and then i have this adorable little kitty cat that fits so those work both work out perfectly this table right here is a DIY. We cut one down and then I painted it red. You'll see in my last video I did, I got this planter right here. So we keep that very simple. This over here is all new. The fireplace stand and the TV. Like I said in my intro, I really wanted to simplify things. Now I do still collect my fairy lights and they are actually down in here. So I'm hoping, well, I think my cat's been in there. I'm hoping that I can find maybe some lights to go in here to kind of light those up. And I love to collect chicken books, so I kind of just have them randomly stacked there. And then I have some more on this side as well. And then more fairy lights there. And I love my record player. So down there on the bottom I have my records. We actually just got this just before Christmas at Lowe's. And I love it. I love the color of it. And I love how it fills up this wall. Then I have my beautiful blizzard ambiance going on there. And then over here, I recently shared this on Instagram as well. I wanted to, a way to store my Fairbow blankets that I love without having them on the floor. Again, to give Mr. Luke more space. So I had uh, hubby build this. It actually is working out great. I am always on the hunt for more of these. I would love to find like an orange fallish one because these ones are all really Christmassy and I like that they are different sizes. And then the wall is actually a project that I recently did and these are all vintage chicken book pages. And I got a lot of these on Etsy and they are just absolutely adorable and what i did and don't be mad at me <laughs> i did take them out of the books but i promise you they are going to be enjoyed and loved a lot more up here on the wall where everybody can see them and i know that the it probably is overwhelming for some people but it's a great idea if you just wanted to take like old encyclopedia pages or something like that that didn't have quite so much color you could do that so it's endless the possibilities but this works for us and i love it and actually 
these were put on the wall all with Mod Podge. So that is how I did that and I did them page by page. So it did take me a little bit of time but it is beautiful and I really love how it turned out. So this is another, oh, I forgot to show you this. I've actually started collecting these. Yeah, collecting kitty cats. Um, these chicken sun catchers. So I have two. The one on the right I got at a craft show and then the one on the left here that'll focus I got at the vintage market in Marietta so I think those are darling now the reason they are hanging up here in the manner that they are is because hmm, culprit do you like to play with those yeah I know you do she likes to play with those <laughs> uh, over here over here we have our two cozy rocking chairs if you have ever seen the Disney movie Up. <laughs> that's what Hubby and I say these are. These are our, um, our Up rocking chairs. We have, um, he has a Faribo blanket on the back of his just because the kitties jump up here. And then one of you lovelies made me this beautiful crocheted like little throw. And I put that up there and the kitties absolutely love having it on the back and I just have my cozy chicken blanket right here this over here is also a DIY of a cabinet from Hobby Lobby that I had in storage and I wanted to kind of do something to tie the red in plus we needed some storage and um, I'll just you can see a peek real quick it's just yeah organized with just these baskets I got from the dollar store I have my warmer here and I actually use these beeswax melts and I got these on Etsy I found these people at a local craft fair and these are made with their actual bees that they have and they are amazing they're natural this one's hot apple pie they smell amazing I'll go ahead and I'll link their shop down below because they are incredible you'll see that on Etsy by the reviews they smell great they're healthy and their customer service is awesome so I'll make sure I link them down below this rooster guy here I got from the Amish country and I actually DIY'd the shade on here to make it go with our look and our house and then over here is the gallery wall I have been working on this has been so fun I have a few things I got to finish up like my broom is hanging on some command hooks there I need to paint over those so that blends in with the wall a little bit better but I've had such fun putting these pieces together and I love I think my favorite piece is this chalkware chicken right there so absolutely adorable and then the little lantern over there on the right actually lights up at night it's on a timer so that's something I have decided right Luke no lights in the house unless they can run on a timer or a battery right buddy what's wrong buddy what's wrong yeah because we're not gonna go around all night and turn lights off are we no are you wagging your tail say hi to everybody <laughs> all right I'll go ahead and um oh I forgot to show you up here oh my goodness this is the extent on my Valentine's Day decor and I love it and I love having this empty because it's a fun place to change out for the seasons but to keep it simple I just have a little sign that says happy Valentine's Day and then these adorable vintage Valentine's on my flower frogs so that is the extent right now of my Valentine's decor let's go ahead now into the laundry room and it is small <laughs> <laughs> pretty much like everything else here and we do have laundry going because it is a Saturday morning so you'll just have to bear with us on that we're actually watching or watching washing our bed sheets this is kind of the best scenario we came up with for our washer and dryer they fit kind of back there in that nook really well I actually slide a little ironing board back there so we kind of try to use every space that we have and then this right up here 
Um, again, it's something else hubby built for me. Most of the work on our house, probably 99% of it, we do on our own. So that's why it takes a little bit sometimes. Got this beautiful big laundry basket and my little clothes pins. We have a clothesline outside. So that's kind of the inspiration for in here. I'll show you a little bit more here in a second. So love to do that um, in the better weather. This is just where we put our lint. Got a little brush right there. And then all of our laundry supplies are actually down in this beautiful vintage tub here. You can see there. So easy to get to. So that's what I'm all about. Easy to clean, easy to get to, functional, but yet super cute at the same time. And then here is a picture that I found at Hobby Lobby. Absolutely perfect for this room with the clothesline and the little tickies there and the colors match great. I'm gonna to try to show you this light, but it may, you know, black out on you. It's a old stained glass hanging light. Yeah, that's why I hate to always film lights because they give you that super dark look. Yeah, I have a, a makeshift clothesline in here on the wall with um, vintage pieces hanging on it. I adore this old chicken vintage pillowcase and then all the way over to the other side with the little bloomers. Down here in the corner, it's just a few fun things. I actually got that on top there for Christmas this year from a coworker, so sweet. And then we have this live edge shelf here that Hubby actually put together as well. And in these baskets, we store like all of our attachments for our sweeper and cleaning cloths and dusters and all those things are up here. Whoop. And this basket and then I have just my scent beads and my iron and things like that that I use and then here is where we hang clothes if we need to hang them to dry and we actually have some bigger coats hanging here right now um, it's just easier to hang them here than in our, our entryway because it is smaller but that way when we have to go back and forth to take care of the chickens we can get to them super easy and then the last thing let's see if I can turn you around this way the storage that we have in here, as you can see, because this is really small, is behind this door on the wall right here. So this is where we keep candles, soaps, cleaning supplies, sticky rollers, spray and wash, you know, all those different cleaning supplies that you need. All right, so this is the first time that you are seeing our bedroom. So this is our bed here with our beautiful chicken sheets, and I got those from American Farm Supply Company, I think. Um, I'll link them down below as well. These are super cute. We're loving them. And then this is how our bed looks. This blanket lays on here like this because our kitty cats love to get up here. I love this blanket. It is amazing. It was pricey. It was from Pottery Barn, but it is so warm and wonderful and cozy. And that is definitely what we wanted to go for in here. There are no extra pretty pillows piled up on the bed because I don't want to take them on and off the bed. We don't use them. We simply need these two that we have here. So that's what we're going with. Up above is just a photo collage of Elijah's senior pictures. Very simple. There's not a lot on the walls. Um, we are still working on that, that's for sure. But we did want to go ahead and put that up there. We actually did that through mixed tiles. And then of course, there's always a kitty cat. This is just a vintage laundry basket here. That's where we uh, put all the dirty clothes. And then we have this beautiful light up here. I actually got that from Home Depot. Now my husband's not a big fan of it because our ceilings are pretty low and it hangs down pretty far, but it is pretty much over the bed. He doesn't run into it uh, too often. All these cats have messed up the curtains down here again. They like to open these up and look out these big windows. These uh, sliding glass doors right there. Over here on this side, I have this coat rack. I actually thrifted this and I use this to hang up my robe. I'm always cold, so definitely keep that close by the bed over here. Oh, this guy I need to turn on. This was a present this year that I asked for for Christmas. Super cozy and fun. 
and then over here I just have my nightstand this box right here I'm trying to decide if I want to like hang something out over it or just shut it and use it for storage right now there's nothing in it at all but I love having that because it gives some height to everything that is sitting over here I have my Young Living diffuser going that my son got for me my Vitruvi or Vitruvi I don't know how you pronounce it humidifier this right here is like a little sound spa love having that on at night and it's on this adorable little crocheted chicken cozy Tiffany style rooster lamp I actually picked that up from QVC we love that little guy right there he adds a little bit of cozy so let me go ahead and I'll swing you back around this way slowly so as not to make you dizzy <laughs> so back behind me here we have this standing fan from Better Homes and Gardens and this dresser right here is just an antique dresser again nothing above that over there yet we will get to that and then over here I have this big beautiful stand that I use to get ready in the mornings it's actually glass on top which I love because it's really easy for cleaning and this I got from Goodwill and then these two little guys right here are actually gifts my son got me this one and my sister got me this one this year for Christmas and they're just too adorable not to have out on display and then I just have things here that I use every day on this vintage um, what do you call that like dresser stand there and then this light so this is just a beautiful piece right here and then back over here behind me is the closet and we have worked really hard on this closet I actually shared this on Instagram earlier this year there is no door there is a reason for that um, I find that if I put doors on there or cover it up that I don't keep it as cleared out and you know I want to keep things a lot more simple and I think if you can see it you definitely don't just throw things in there so I think this forces me to keep it uncluttered and the funny thing about this was is when we did this closet we didn't buy anything extra these stands I already had which work out perfectly for the shoes this stand I already had at one time in the living room it's actually got my whoop, purses in there so that's kind of where I am keeping those for right now and then there is the fireplace kind of going over there if you can see it a little bit now coming from the dining room here over now into the kitchen I have this beautiful scale hanging here and then coming over to this side of the wall most of the decor in the kitchen is on this side of the wall over here down here I have some old crocs and in there I have potatoes some rolling pins and then in here are where we keep some of our onions and then I have a mug rack over here and then this is where we hang our dish towels and my apron this stand here is great for storage basket on top and then we keep a lot of our canned goods here and then I have this little chicken right there that I use to crush my herbs and then right here is the dining room table this is the table my parents had when they were first married so I have that from them and then the chairs are just all different colors of different chairs green blue white all the colors in the house this is a recent find right here this adorable little egg scale so fun to go along with our eggs there from our girls I am on the hunt for more of a vintage butter container right there so hopefully I'll find something like that soon one that kind of catches my eye and then over here we just keep empty egg cartons from where people get eggs and bring those back and then I have some cookbooks down there and then of course I have my beautiful shelves another one of my favorite things to decorate 
and I have all of my jadeite that I love and all of my red and white chickens. I have narrowed it down to the red and white chicken so that I can keep things simplified. So I'm real specific on those. And this guy right here you saw in the recent video filled in that little spot right there. And then I have a lot of my beautiful copper pieces hanging there. And then that's just Lukey's area there. Then over here in the corner, really the only decor I have over here because we utilize the space coming in and out is I have a copper chicken up there on top. And then swinging over to here, this is a find I had recently and it is a brass chicken and we hang our keys there just to keep that simple as well. And then we have this adorable little match holder right here with the chickens. So very cute, just have that stuck on the side. Now I do need your help with something. I used to have a Keurig that's set right here. I don't have that any longer. And I used to keep my, in here, my K-cups. So I need an idea. Let me know down in the comments what you think I could put in there that would be useful to have in the kitchen that I might possibly, you know, not just for decor, something that I could put in there to get to easily. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Okay, sorry about that guys. My camera batteries are all dead. I'm not used to doing this anymore. So we're gonna finish this up on my phone today. There is the cheese grater. I love changing that out for the seasons. Then I always have my little sign up here. You can never go where God is not. This is actually a thrifted window valance. Jadeite bowl here for our little scrub daddy sponge. And over here on this side, I have this adorable little chicken fly swatter. It hangs right there, it looks very cute. The counters are very simple to give us plenty of room to cook and prep food. This right here, I've had for a while and I was looking for something to keep my salt in, like a little salt crock. And I thought, why don't I use this little guy? He's adorable and he works super, super well. Something back there. <laughs> so yeah. That's all I have over here in this corner. And then I have my little shelf above here, also thrifted. I was looking for a toothpick holder and I found this guy right here. I actually found him during the Christmas season at Dollar General, I believe it was. So perfect for us here. And then this, I may do a haul, I'm not sure. We went shopping yesterday and this book was one of the things I picked up. You can see it still has the tag on there for $3. But I grabbed it because it had this adorable little chicken on there. And so I don't know if I'll film that haul or not. I'll let you know. And then over here is just where we do a lot of the food prep. So my ninjas here, knives, all of that. <laughs> 